Hey guys, and welcome to the Eyebrow Showdown, where I take the e.l.f. lock on liner and brow cream and put it up against the holy grail Anastasia Dick Brow Pomade. I think it's safe to say that Anastasia is the queen of eyebrows. I certainly love all her eyebrow products, especially the Dick Brow Pomade. And before I actually started doing my eyebrows, I was using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. So I'm excited to try the e.l.f. brow cream. And I'll see if it's really a dupe for the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So the e.l.f. Lock on Liner and Brow Cream retails for $3. I bought mine at Target and I am the shade Medium Brown. It comes with 0.19 ounces of product, which is 5.5 grams, as opposed to the Anastasia which is $18, you get 0.14 ounces of product, which is 4 grams. You're actually getting 1.5 grams more product with the e.l.f. brow cream than the Anastasia. And you're also paying $14 less, which is a good thing, because you can use that money towards other makeup or buying coffee. So what I like about the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade is that it lasts all day, I can put it on by the end of the day. It hasn't worn off, hasn't faded, and also when I go to the gym, it doesn't sweat off or fade or rub off at all, which is great. I also like that it has lasted me a long time because I bought this in January 2016, and I had to look up my purchase history in order to find out when I bought this because I forgot. But I only use like half of it. So that means this will probably last me another year. But I know that they say makeup expires and it says six months for after you open it should expire. But I need to get my $18 worth. So I'm gonna keep using it. So I've decided to test out the e.l.f. eyebrow cream and see how it compares to the Anastasia Dip Brow and see if it's a dupe. And I'm just gonna start off by applying it. And I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild eyebrow brush. I got this at Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with my right eyebrow. And right off, I can tell you that the product is really creamy. Let's see how it applies. It's pigmented, which I like. very creamy, it's easy to apply, it's gliding on real smoothly, I don't feel like I have to like try to get a lot of product. And it, very, it is very comparable to the Anastasia Dip Brow. Just because it, it glides on really easy, just like Anastasia. Okay, I think I'm done with one eyebrow now. And I think that was pretty fast. Now I'm gonna do the left eyebrow. I think you have to be careful with the product because you could get a ton of product and it'll be like really dark. So a little goes a long ways. And I feel like I'm already almost done with this eyebrow and I just dipped it in the product like once at the beginning, which is great. I just feel like my eyebrows never match. <laughs> I know they had the saying that your eyebrows should not be twins, they should be sisters. But sometimes I feel like my eyebrows don't even aren't even related or in the same family. So let's see. Okay. So now that I've done both the eyebrows, I'm going to brush them out just to blend them, make them look a little more natural. 
So I can tell you already that I like the product. It's easy to use, it glides on easily, it's very creamy. A little product goes a long way, which is great. And I also like the pigment. It's very it's very pigmented and you don't have to use a ton of product in order to get color payoff. So I'll be going on with the rest of my day, I'll finish my makeup. And I'll check back in with you guys later. See ya. Bye. My eyebrows are still going strong. And we'll check back in later with you guys. You guys. Good morning. It's day two. And I haven't gone to sleep yet. But we're going to go to the gym now. And I thought it would be a good test to test out the e.l.f. brow cream. See how it does while working out if it fades or rubs off or sweats off and this is how my eyebrows look now so I'll check back in with you later and I'll show you what happened if it came off or anything okay see you guys later so we just got back from the gym and after three miles and doing some squats and lunges with my eyebrows still on looks like they're so good so, yeah, my eyebrows are still on, so it means it's a good product. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Hello, we have come to the end of the video, the conclusion, where I tell you what I think about the e.l.f. brow cream and how it compares to the Anastasia dip brow. So what are my final thoughts on the product? This is a really great product. I really, I highly recommend it. It lasted all day. I've been wearing it for, how long have I been wearing it? Let me see. I put it on, I first put it on at 11 a.m. yesterday. So I've been wearing it for 21 hours. It lasted all day, it didn't wear off, it didn't fade, rub off, smudge. And it's great. So, go buy this, just kidding. I recommend you buy an e.l.f. eyebrow cream. It's very cheap and affordable compared to the Anastasia $18. So if you are on the fence about whether you should buy the Anastasia dip brow, I say you buy the e.l.f. brow cream instead. Or let's say you already bought this and you don't want to repurchase it because you don't want to spend the $18. You can get this. This is comparable and very similar. So. I suggest you buying this. So those are my final thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something from the video. Maybe you'll go buy this instead of the Anastasia dip brow. So thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Comment down in the comments. <laughs> comment if you want to see anything. And just give me any feedback because it always helps me out. And make sure you thumbs up the video. So, yeah. See you guys in another video. Bye.